All right, we're here at Milton Academy with Matt Tabor, star pitcher here. You pitched yesterday, uh, no shortage of guys behind the plate, namely Major League Scouts. Is it second nature for you now? You know, I, I try to just focus on the game, you know. Uh, that's kind of what I've said since the beginning, you know. It's just a game, it's something I love love doing for 13 years, and, you know, nothing really phases me. I try to try to do my best to focus on Belmont Hill, you know. They're a really good in-league opponent, and, you know, I think, it, uh, think just that, just focusing on them kind of paid off for me, so. Do you remember the first time you had a scout watching you pitch? Uh, it was yeah, it was kind of the summer. I, w I went to the area code tryouts, and I uh, you know I w wasn't really expecting much. And I fortunately made the team, made the East Coast Brown area code, and you know I went down to Tampa, and there were 400 guys behind the plate, and that was kind of a wake up call for me. You know th this could be this could be a real thing for me. Uh, so yeah, you know it was, it's really cool, and it's just all all through a surreal experience. I'm really lucky. So that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, you know, not too many guys are in the situation you're in. I mean, is this come you know? Surprising at all? Yeah, I mean, I mean, like I, I always, I tell everyone, you know, I was, I was a tiny guy last year, 150 pounds. You know, I, I came to these area code tryouts, not expecting anything, just kind of cool, cool to even get an invite, you know. And then I got a call two days later saying I made the team, and it was an honor. And then you know, it's just pretty much every step of the way has been a surprise for me. You know, I was, I came out, I worked really hard this winter, and I, I thought I was prepared for the spring, but again, what's happening now is nothing like I could ever expect. It's, 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 it's just a dream come true. So, as far as Elon, what was it about Elon that sold you? Uh, I mean, I, I committed really early, so my sophomore year. But I, it's not—it wasn't just a baseball decision for me. The ac coming from Milton Academy, I was looking for an academic school, and Elon had had that. It also had—it's uh, also around 6,000 kids, so it's a really good size. And you know, it's down in North Carolina, a beautiful place, and they compete in the Division One level. So that was an awesome fit. And you may have an option in a month, namely the Major League Draft. Is it tough not to focus on that at all? Yeah, you know, it's it's definitely tough, especially when it's coming up. But you know, I. I my, my first goal right now is winning a champ, winning a ISL title with with all my brothers right here, and you know I, I kind of try to put the other stuff behind me. I don't want to be selfish, you know. This is, this, these are all my guys right here, and you know I'm trying to trying to do it for them. So, so if we do a good job with this story, and you decide to uh, sign a major league contract, will you remember us? Yes, sir, absolutely. <laughs> We're here at uh, Milton Academy with Matt Petrick, the head baseball coach here. I mean, you certainly have a special talent in Matt. When did you start to realize that this is not you're just your regular guy? Uh, probably last year, you know, just seeing him how hard he competes and how hard he works made him uh, a special player. Um, you know, obviously the, the talent's there, but his work ethic and how he competes uh, as on the mound is really what sets him apart. One thing everyone has said is that, you know, he's a kid who's going to get drafted pretty high. It'd be pretty easy to get a swelled head, but he seems to be firmly grounded. Talk about him as a person. Yeah, well, he's a great kid, and his parents are great people. Um, and, and this school does a good job of making sure that you, you're grounded as well. There's a lot of talented kids here in all realms, um, and he's just another one. Um, and, and his work ethic and how hard he works is what keeps him grounded. And, you know, anytime he goes home, he's got two great parents to go home to, and they make sure that he's uh, he's all set there too. Now, do you get in the batting cage again at all? Never, never ever. That was years ago, maybe, but never, <laughs> never. <laughs> as far as speed wise, what does he throw roughly? Uh, he was he was clocked anywhere between 93 and 96 yesterday. Yeah. Pretty impressive stuff. Yeah, I mean that's very hard at any level. Never mind the high school level. Um, you know, we've had a couple of kids run through this league that have been able to do that. Tyler Beatty probably being the most recent, um, and the kid at Govs, Shane Smith, who's uh, who's a talent too. Um, but yeah, he's he's uh, he's pretty special. 96 is throwing some gas. Thanks so much. You got What's up, Nate? No basketball. All right, everyone gets one round, and we're starters only hitting. All right, so we off with some side toss. Get talking bottom hand, and then the paper side. Yeah. No basketball. All right. All right. Fire. 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 Fire.